The news at 11 begins with breaking news in the East Bay. A deadly shooting inside a Livermore bowling alley on a busy Saturday evening. A kid's birthday party was happening inside when shots rang out. Tonight, parents and neighbors are shaken. This all happened just after 6 o'clock at Granada Bowl. That's on Railroad Avenue, just about a block from downtown Livermore. Police say a fight broke out. A man pulled a gun, then started shooting. One person died. And tonight, the search is on for that gunman. NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Magallon has been at the scene all evening. She spoke with a young boy who was inside when this all happened. Stephanie. All right, so police are still out here. They're talking to witnesses, looking at surveillance footage, trying to figure out what led up to this shooting, which actually ended up taking place inside the bar area at Granada Bowl, which is separate from the bowling alleys. Now, we're told that there was a birthday party taking place when the shooting occurred, which ended up happening around 6 o'clock this evening, but they don't believe those involved were connected to the party. Investigators say it started as a fight, then someone took out a gun and shot three people. All of them were adult males in their 20s. Police say a 28-year-old died at the scene and the other two were taken to a hospital and are expected to be okay. As for the suspect, nobody has been arrested yet, but investigators believe they know who he is. We believe that they were all kind of uh, inside the bar area. They knew of each other. Um, I don't know. We don't know exactly their relationship, how close they were, uh, but they it led to an altercation, which then led to the shooting. Witnesses I spoke with, including 13 year old Colin, says there were a lot of children inside and he was in the arcade when he heard at least three gunshots and then people started screaming, get down. So we got down and we started running and sprinting out of the bowling alley and I went really far to try and get safe. I was very scared. Um, it felt like I was going to die. Colin says he ran to a nearby community and a family there ended up letting him and other children inside their garage until their parents were able to show up and get them. Now, several families I spoke with says this is the first time they see a tragedy like this happen here in Livermore. And they're really hoping that police are able to find and arrest this suspect as soon as possible. In Livermore, I'm Stephanie Magallon. Back to you. A neighbor in an apartment nearby heard the screams of people searching for a missing eight-year-old girl. She went out to help and minutes later that little girl was found hiding in a nearby garage. She found a safe place and she went to a garage. She knew that this was a neighborhood. It looked safe to her, I can imagine. And I'm just wondering if she was taught that kind of thing at school or what. I'm glad she was, but it's kind of sad that a little kid has to know how to run and save their own lives. It could happen in any small town, big town, concert, bowling alley, wherever you go now. And I hope I'm not numb to this. I hope I'm not numb to this. And those poor kids, you should have seen them. They were darling. They all had on matching t-shirts celebrating this beautiful, darling little girl's birthday. And they were all had their bowling shoes still on. They should have been spending their Saturday afternoon enjoying their youth and innocence. And we have been sending out push alerts and we live streamed the news conference when police gave an update about 90 minutes ago. If you'd like to get updates right on your smartphone, you can download the NBC Bay Area app. It is free for Apple and Android devices.